Hi, Larry Gaines, PowerCycleTrading.com. In this video, I want to show you a trade setup that uh, is starting to take place. It looks really good. Uh, this is on CR CRM Salesforce. First off, CRM or Salesforce has had a big sell-off, and it's finally looking like it's found support here. So based on our momentum indicators here, we, we had a buy signal here today on CRM. So uh, momentum on cycle one and two are me measuring price momentum or strength. And so when that goes positive, and then when I get a four hour uh, positive here and this moving average cross, you know, that's part of the uh, rules for a trigger entry for a buy. Now, if you look back at the uh, longer term uh, on Salesforce or CRM, you'll see it starting to bottom here. So let me pull up a different chart. So looking back from this sell off, started back in the 25th of November, we had a big, huge move down to this 200 day moving average, this blue line, that's 200 day uh, moving average. So if you look at the uh, price action here, uh, you know, it's been just kind of really churning sideways here for you know for two weeks I mean we came down to this low pressed up here we're traced and the other uh, things to look at here is that you can see today based on this movement up this is what we call cycle reversal so it held the 200 day moving average and today we had a close back above that 21 period moving average on the daily so that's very very key the other thing is from this swing high to low here uh, this retracement we've had a move above the 382 and into the 50. So this has potential to go to the next target level, which is going to be right here, right about 228, 229, and then up to this uh, kind of this 230, 233 area where the 50 simple moving average is coming in. So the trade setup I'm looking at is to, to do a calendar uh, targeting 225 and then look to uh, convert that to roll it for a bigger move to the upside. So let me walk you through the trade setup. So what I'm going to do is going to go out tomorrow and look to the 12 February series, 23 days till expiration. And you can see that the expected move up here is, this says $5, $15, I mean, plus or minus 15, 82. So that tells us based on the option model that the, uh, you know, between the next, from today to the, to the next 23 days, CRM could potentially go up $15, almost $16 to the upside. So that would put it up to 230, uh, about 233, almost 235 to 240 area here. So right in here, and that's kind of our target to get into that 50 moving average. So what I'm going to look to do is come here to the to the 12 February. I'm going to buy the look to buy the $225 call here. So that's going to go for about 260 if we were trying to get it, you know, at the mid price here. And then going to turn around and sell the 22 Jan call tomorrow, uh, the 225 call here. So this is what we call a calendar, and we're going to play. The difference in theta decay, uh, if you look here uh, and I put it on Delta Gamma Theta, you'll see the theta decay here on the 225 call is $33 a day. And the theta decay here on the 225, uh, 12 February is uh, $15. So we've got a nice theta differential there to play. So this is going to accelerate time decay there a lot faster by about $15, $16, $17. $15. And we're going to play that as a calendar. And then we can roll it into a long directional trade if we want. So be buying the 12 February 225 call and that's going to be around 660 so we'll, we'll look at this tomorrow it could change a little bit this is what it looks like today going out 660 dollars and then sell against at the same time the 22 Jan uh, 225 call that expires Friday, bring in about $141. So they're going to be into this trade about uh, for about $519, the spread. Now, if on Friday, the 22nd, this goes out at 225 this trade will be up about $120, $130. So that's kind of what we call the income side of it. So that'd be about 25, 26% return. But what we'd prefer is to have this expire or come into Friday's expiration the 22 of Jan and go and, and be below the 225 at expiration so we could keep this full $141 of credit or part of it but preference would be if we could keep it all now if we were then to keep it all and we still directionally our bias is that, that the market's bottom is going to move higher then that's going to reduce down our cost of this 225 call by the credit here so that's going to reduce that that trade down to if you take that out right now you would be long at 225 at $519 or $5.19. And then what we would do is we'd probably turn around and sell the 29 Jan 230 call against it, bring in $210. And now we've got a calendar diagonal. And if we get a move uh, into the 29th of January at 230, this will be up over $500. So I love these kind of trades because it gives you a lot of flexibility as to things that you can do. You can either trade it for the income and just take it off here at the, the calendar uh, 
uh, spread itself at 520. If it goes to uh, the 225 here, you're up about $133. But the better way to do it is if you can then, when I call, morph this into a directional trade by keeping that credit from the 225 short strike. All right, I hope this helps. And uh, if you want to learn more about these types of option strategies, make sure to check us out at PowerCycleTrading.com. Good luck trading.